In today's video, I've got 10 Apple Photos tips for beginners. The last three will show you how to recover storage space on your device if you need to, so stick around until the end. Here's a quick tip I use to make black and white photos instantly using no filters and just the Photos app that comes on your iPhone or iPad. And make sure the manual adjustment layer is selected on the bottom, then swipe over and find the saturation property. Move the saturation all the way down to minus 100 like this to make the photo instantly black and white. You may also want to improve the photo by increasing the contrast to make it a little easier to see. In this example, the saturation was adjusted to minus 100 and the contrast was adjusted to 100. Then tap on done, and as you can see, your edit has been applied to the original photo. You may also want to play around with the exposure property to see if you can make it look even better. I'm going to show you how to age a modern digital photo. Tap edit. Swipe over until you find the saturation property. Select it by tapping on it. Decrease the saturation all the way down to minus 100. To age the photo, take the following steps. Select brightness and bring it all the way up. Then tap on contrast. You can decrease it so the value reads minus 100. Adjust the brilliance all the way to 100. Tap on exposure. Bring it all the way to 100. Slowly decrease the exposure until you can clearly see the photo and the effect looks good to you. You can add a preset filter to your photo. Let me show you what each filter looks like. That's Vivid, Vivid Warm, Vivid Cool, Dramatic, Dramatic Warm, Dramatic Cool, Mono, which is one of the original black and white filters, Silver Tone, and Noir. If you open up the camera, you'll notice you have access to the same filters that are available inside the Photos app. But did you know you can actually take black and white photos using your camera? If you open up your camera and swipe up from the bottom of the screen like this, you will see these controls. Swipe left and find the filters icon. It looks similar to the one in the Photos app. All of these filters are available, and as you can see, the silver tone filter is selected. But that's because I previously set it by default. The original filter will be selected. This means that the camera will take a photo with no filter applied. To apply the silver tone filter once more, just select it and tap on it. And then take your photo by pressing the camera button. The photo will be saved to the camera roll with the silver tone filter applied. And if you tap the three dots, you won't see the revert to original option because the original photo is black and white. Open the photo that you want to edit and then make your edit. First, I'll turn the saturation all the way down to minus 100 and then I'll turn the contrast up. I want to keep two versions of the same photo. Tap on the three dots and tap on duplicate. You'll see two options, copy and duplicate. There is a difference between them. If you select copy, it just copies the photo to the clipboard so that you can paste it into other apps like Notes. If you tap on duplicate, you'll notice that a duplicate will be placed in your camera roll right next to your edited photo. To revert back to the original photo, all you have to do is tap on the three dots and select revert to original. That will remove your previous edit. Edit your own photo and then turn it into a wallpaper. First I'll tap on edit and then I'll tap on saturation and bring it all the way down. Swipe right to bring the saturation down. This makes the photo black and white. Next, I'll tap on contrast and adjust that. 
You may not want to bring it all the way up. When you're done, tap on Done, and your edits have been applied to the original photo. Next, tap on the Share icon, and then tap on Use as Wallpaper. Here you can see that you can add some widgets. I'm not going to add any to this lock screen. So then I'm going to tap on Set as Wallpaper. And now if I swipe up to close the Photos app, you'll see that I have a new wallpaper with the home screen blurred. If I swipe down, you can see the lock screen with some notifications on it. When you delete media off of your iPhone, it is moved into the recently deleted album for 30 days. Swipe up to scroll down, and you'll see recently deleted. If you're running the latest version of iOS as of the recording of this video, and you look next to your recently deleted album, which can be found in the Utilities section, look at your camera to access your recently deleted photos. Just tap recently deleted, and look at your camera. These are all of my deleted photos. Tap on select. Normally when you tap on select, you'll see it recover and delete down at the bottom. You don't actually have to physically select any of your photos. You just have to tap on select and then you'll get recover all or delete all. To permanently empty your recently deleted album, just tap on delete all. Confirm that you want to delete all of the photos in this album by tapping on delete from all devices. When you see this screen, all of your photos inside the recently deleted album have been permanently deleted. When you have duplicate photos, the duplicates album will appear in the utilities section. All of the photos that are duplicated are stored in this album. To see how many duplicate photos that you have, tap Duplicates. If you don't see the Duplicates album inside the Utilities section, that means that you don't have any duplicate photos. Duplicate photos can be handled in two ways. Select each photo individually, or you can select them all. You can actually have more than two duplicates, and they're organized by date. So the easiest way to take care of all of the duplicate photos Tap on select, tap select all. When you select all of your items, you'll see merge 50, merge 34 copies only, because those are exact copies. Tap on merge exact copies one more time. You can repeat the process by tapping on select once more. Tap select all, tap on merge at the bottom of the screen. Tap Merge 16 Items. Once all of your photos have been merged, you will see this screen. As a content creator, I take a lot of screenshots. In the Media Type section, just above the Utility section, you'll see an album that says Screenshots. To find all of your screenshots, tap on the Screenshots album. All of these items are screenshots. If you're looking for a specific screenshot, the first place you should look is inside the screenshots album. Watch this video recommended by YouTube. This playlist contains more tutorials just like this one. Don't forget to tap on the notification bell once you've subscribed so you're notified when I upload a new video. Join me next time.